Hi, Hi, Marcia. Hi. Two. Where are you? In my room. Why is it different? Usually it's the background is not like this. I want to. I want to sit at the carpet. Ah, I see. So why did you choose Chanel, by the way? Because I have the book. Oh, wait, wait, which one? Which fan are you? A fan of the dresses? A fan of the perfume? A fan of the bags? Perfume. The perfume. Perfume, perfume and the clothes. clothes. Okay. So not the bags. Yeah, that too. The bags too. <laughs> yeah. Overall then. Yeah. So what do you have so far? I used to have the perfume, but now I don't have it anymore. Oh man, how much is it? Uh, the one hundred milliliter anyway nowadays. I don't know. Five hundred, six hundred. No, 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 no. One million. It's even mm. more. Yeah, more, more than one million. Mm. So, uh, how many timelines or how many topics are you going to use? I still don't know. I still don't know about it. But is it going to be time or topic? Now it's time to decide. Mm. The topic, when you say topical order, it means that you need to uh, find out the I items that made news or made Chanel big. For example, like the perfume and then the kind of dress. Was Sabrina dress made, made by Chanel? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use the topical order. Topical. Yeah. So it means that the topics. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi, Bar. Assalamualaikum. Akbar, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Hello. Assalamualaikum. So if you take a look at uh, Chanel's Wikipedia, it's actually already exposition. However, you are asked to make only a paragraph. So imagine that. It means that even if you want to quote from Wikipedia, you need to summarize it into a paragraph only. Hmm. Okay. Is Akbar still praying? No, I'm mute. Oh, uh, come on. Come online. Show your face. <laughs> Show me your face. Oh, I know. Akbar is still eating. Mm. <laughs> it's true. I just, I'm just drinking. Oh. So, but you haven't told me what topic are you going to use for your writing? I still don't have idea. Ah, maybe about uh, Yeezy or about Nikes, Adidas or uh, sneakers, Converse, so many things. You don't have to use girly fashion. Boys fashions are fine also. Take my Marcia is using Chanel. Chanel. Oh, the, the, the flannel shirt. Oh, flannel shirt. Okay. So one is Chanel, one is flannel. 
<laughs> what a coincidence. Okay, sure. Like, do you want to use topical time or uh, what else? What, what is one word? What is the other one? Topical time and? Oh, Rofi. He said he knows nothing about fashion. Hmm, really? I bet if I talk about Nike, he knows something about it. Climactic order. What's climactic? Climactic is, for example, um, jeans is probably used by the most people in nine, 2000. Nowadays, jeans are going down again because people are using chinos and so on. So climactic is when you get to that apex, that point, you go up. But then you don't really tell the story after it slides down. So after 2010, you don't tell the story of it. Okay. So go on then. Uh, where is Rofi, by the way? Fi, Rofi. Hey, I'm going to put it here, Marcia. If you are going to use topical order, what are the topics that you're going to use? How Chanel become, become famous. Yeah, but what's the first topic? Like, did she start with the perfume, the bag, or the... Perfume. Per there you go. Hi, Rafi. Assalamualaikum. Rafi, are you there? Hello, hello, hello. Mm -mm. Okay. Your voice is so low. Yes, yes. Okay, now it's good. Are you sure you know nothing about fashion? Yeah. Um, there are so fashion doesn't mean like clothes only. Sneakers are fashion. Jeans are fashion. What, is uniform is uh, is uniform fashion? Sure. Like, why not? Like the uniform school uniform, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like since when do we actually use uniforms? Jeans. She's from the invade. Did uh, did Indonesian kids always use uniforms, or there were times when we don't use uniforms? We can talk about that. So, Rafi, what is your topic? Sneakers, uh, hat, cap, baseball caps, beanie. Adidas, maybe? Adidas, Adidas. I know Adidas, but I don't know the background. Oh, you can wiki. You can check wiki for the background. Like I said to Marcia, even though you quote from Wikipedia, you still need to summarize it because the history in Wikipedia is usually multi paragraphs. And you are only to, I, I'm going to ask you to make only one paragraph. So. Oh, please. Like, what is the time order? Like, how it started? Uh -uh. In 1910, Coco Chanel, blah, 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 blah. And then in 19, something, 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 she, blah, 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 blah. Something like that. Oh, okay. Oh. What? Your choice? Yeah, the flannel shirt. Flannel, okay. Akbar wants to talk about flannel shirt. Do you want to use time order or topical order? I think I think time, time. Time order, okay. Time order. When did the flannel shirt first invented? Invent. When uh, was? It was at 16th century. Then, please put your sentence here. How about you, Rafi? 
Oh, Akbar wants to go to Jokowi wearing flannel shirt. <laughs> no, no, I have no idea, but like every younger, every youth has a flannel shirt. Flannel shirt. I know. And it makes you wonder why. Yeah. And it just from be begin in 2018. No, 19? no. My brother in the 80s already oh. wore that. Oh. Yeah, but in my generation, uh. I think it starts in 18, 2018. Oh. So, Rafi, what kind of uh, clothing items do you use? Uh. I will go with Adidas. Adidas, okay. Do you want to use topical order or time order? What's the difference? Topical order means the products, more about the products. But uh, time order is more about the time, the year. So maybe in that year, there's no special product, but Adidas made something uh, for example, he had an accident, okay? So everything in his company went down, for example. That's not a product, but it's an important year for Adidas, Adidas Lur. Yes, I will use time order. Mm -mm. Time order, got it. So please, Marcia, start your time. Flannel was, bar. flannel is the name of the cloth, flannel. The flannel or the flannel shirt? Shirt. Sure. Check uh, again. It's flannel, just flannel. The flannel means the cloth, not the not the shirt. I, I found the article. It's about flannel. Well, uh, then you and need it, to you need to find about the shirt, not about the flannel. <laughs> or you can start from flannel and then jump to shirt. Yeah, I think flannel was invented in Wales at in the 16th century. Then in I don't know, 18th century, people made shirts out of flannel, something like that. So Rafi, topical or time order? Time order. Time order, okay. When did Adidas Lur start the company? By the way, uh, American would say Adidas and German would laugh at them. It's Adidas, not Adidas. Adi. Adidas. In 1918, after the World War One, what happened? Your yeah. your sentence is not complete, Marcia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Irovi, let's start with your first sentence. Oh, okay, okay. Clear. I click the clear one. Pardon? What clear. is it, Marcia? I want to delete that. Clear. Use eraser to clear it. Miss, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, we write it as a full paragraph, right? Yep. Only one paragraph, remember. I only need one paragraph. Paragraph, okay. And remember, 
the bar, why did you delete yours? Hmm, Adidas was invented in July 1924, right after World War, what? World, World War? Profi? Taibu, Taibu. Ada. Remember, at the end of your paragraph, you need to put a concluding sentence. I reached my data. It's, it's, mm. um, oh. But this one should be the later sentence. The first sentence should be the topic sentence. Like, why did you choose this topic? For Akbar, for example, you can use flannel is known to be worn by teenagers across the world. Something like that. For Marsha, you can say something like, Chanel is one of the most famous brands, fashion brands in the world. Rafi probably would say, Adidas has taken over the world for the past 70 years. Do you know the grunge bands and Nirvana? Mm -mm. Yeah. Come as you are. As you what smells like teen spirit? It's marked that they are the they are make flannel popular. No, trust me, they were a band of the nineties. My brother already worn flannel since nineteen eighties. My dad already worn flannel since nineteen sixties. So it's been around for a long time. The topic sentence, Marcia. Yeah, the topic sentence? Mm -mm. This can be the second one, like the first beginning, but what made you chose Chanel as your topic? What is so special about it? Uh, you can say uh, Chanel number five is one of the most notable perfume for generations or something. Mm. Oh yeah, I forgot. You put that as one of the 20 facts about you. You like Chanel number five. Remember when we start GEI2, I asked you to answer oh, yeah, 20 yeah, questions first, about you, uh -uh, the, first the first meeting. And one of the facts that you talk about was, I love uh, Chanel number no. five perfume. I forgot, I just remembered that. Yeah, I like that. Isn't it? It's, too it smells so good. But it's too heavy for me. I mean, I like citrusy smell. And Chanel is too, too, how do you say it? Too deep, too intoxicating. Have you ever smelled samsara? My mom used to wear that. Samsara? Man, I got dizzy whenever my mom <laughs> apply that perfume. Off you go. It's what, it's what is masyarakat kelas atas. Ah. Hi. Hi, society. <laughs> okay, thank you, Hi. Akbar. What? Akbar? Yeah. Hi, society. Hmm. Okay. okay. And the proletar 
people. <laughs> mm -hmm. High society. Guys? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I'm going to read it. Wait. Adidas is one of the most famous sneakers ever. It was invented with Adidas. Does Adidas only create sneakers? Only produce sneakers? Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure they also produce uh what do you call it? Soccer boots. There are a lot of Adidas products. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. They also have sandals and then flip-flops, not only sneakers. But are you going those? to talk about? Oh, yeah. It's okay though. Uh, I'm talking about the sneakers only. Sneakers. Okay. Yeah. Adidas is one of the most famous sneakers, sneaker sneakers brand. Then, if you want to say it, Adidas mm -hmm. is one of the most famous sneakers brands ever. It was invented in July 1924, right after work. Yeah, Rafi is back to world, world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> Sneakers brands ever. It was invented in, after the World War One by Adolf and Rudolf. Adolf and Rudolf who? Dassler. Huh? Adolf Dassler, oh yeah. Then in 1947, oh. that's why the name is Adidas, Adolf, Adi. His nickname is Adi, Adolf is Adi. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes Adi Dassler Adidas. Rebranded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Puma is... Uh... Branch of Adidas. But Rofi, if you say it something like this, it becomes topical order. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. This is also time order. No problem. Sorry. Go on, more Rofi. You can do this. Yes, miss. Mm -mm, continue. This huh? is already one, two. Maybe you can... Go until 2000. Marcia, this is the first sentence, right? Yeah. So I'm going to put it up. In the early of 20th century, fashion is only for people from the high society. So Gabriel Chanel wanted to make a difference. Who's Gabrielle Chanel? Coco Chanel. Her. Oh, that's the, her the, real name. Yeah, that's oh, her real name. I see. So Gabrielle Chanel wanted to make a difference. Because this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In 1980, you can start with that. In 1980, after the World War One, she invented Chanel. Yeah. Flannel shirt. What? No, I, I'm reading Akbar. You need to fix this, Arsha. She invented blah, blah, blah. In other flannel shirt. Hmm. But not was. Flannel shirt. You are using a specific time signal. So this must be in past tense. What's the past tense of past verb begin. of become? Begin. Mm -mm. Flannel shirts. Shirts became popular because people were not it. But yeah. People wear it. 
where you're talking about flannel shirts not only one shirt flannel shirts all flannel shirts so because people wear them in sports around 1950s there you go flannel So, but this is going back and forth. This is 1950, and then you go back to 17th century. So, if you use time order, it must be from the beginning. So, continue. So, I, I erase this. You don't have to, but you don't need to put the time signal. Flannel shirts became popular because people wear them in sports. That's it. Oh, okay. Then you can start the next one. Flannel was invented in Wales at 17th century. Ooh, this is jumping too far, Bar, from 17th century to 2010. Something in between. Yeah, there, the first, the first, uh, the first sentence in the mm. Then you still need your topic sentence. If you want to use this okay, as the okay. second sentence, you need to use the topic sentence. Is it like this? Do you want to use this as the second one? Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Um, 1950s, there. Uh, topic sentence. Why do you choose flannel then? Why do you choose flannel yes, shirt as your top? Okay. Guys, I suggest you now to open a Google Doc and copy paste yes. your sentences there. Because when the Zoom is over, your words are going to be with me, not with you. Okay, so open Google Doc and then copy paste these sentences into your Google Doc. And share the link in the chat box. Share the link of what? Your Google Doc. What happened after 1947, uh, Rafi? Yeah, miss. What happened after 1947? What's the next year that you use? Mm. Oh, maybe in 1952, following the 1952 Summer Olympics, Adidas acquired its signature three-stripe logo. Mm, okay. Sure, why not? You can make it shorter. In 1952, after the Summer Olympics, Adidas started using their three stripes logo. Okay, who already shared the Google Doc link? Not yet. Hello. Yep, yep. What is it, bud? Do Akbar is gone. Uh, what? No. Uh, that's all. I haven't finished the sentence. By the way, in your uh, options, do you have select next to text? What do you have? Draw. Mouse. Next to, so this is text and then draw this one? Stem. Oh, mouse. Select. Mouse. Oh, mouse. 
Now, sex, draw, stamp. Mm. So it's true then. Only I can edit your sentences. <laughs> Go on, guys. Please open Google Doc. With me, Slotin. So I can help you to uh, copy paste your sentences. Mm. Oh, Akbar is drinking eight glasses of water. I remember <laughs> four. Oh, no. Two, when you break your fast. Two, when you have dinner. Two, before you go to bed. Two, when you have it your sahur. <laughs> Eight glasses of water. Miss, my Google Docs error, miss. Yeah. Why, Rafi? I don't know. Can I just... Copy paste to in the chat. It will disappear. Uh -huh. Copy paste what? Your sentences? Yeah. Mm, okay. E, why are you sending me direct message? Yeah, direct message. Ah, Marsha is her Google Docs. Marsha, the access is still private. Really? Really. Please change it into public and can comment. Not only view, but comment. Oh, does anybody have Ab Akbar's problem this afternoon? He couldn't answer the Google form. Did you experience the same thing? I can. You can. No. Rofi, how about you? Huh? Why, did why, you, why? Did you experience difficulties with your Google form? Uh, no, no. Some of my learners no, could no, no. not fill Google Forms, including Akbar. Well, I'm opening that link in the Samsung Internet. I can, but if I open in the uh, Chrome, I can miss. Mm. So I do need to change my my phone. Yeah, I don't know what happened though. Like three, four people complain about the same thing. Have you received my link? Yep, thank you. I'm opening it at the moment. What's wrong, Marcia? Oh, God. Oh. No, no. Like you? Oh, God. 
I'm copying Marcia's sentences from. Uh, my laptop is going slow. Same with me. I'm typing and then stop. It's okay, buddy. You can continue. I'm going to copy paste your sentences. So you don't have to retype your sentence. I keep okay. the typing. Marcia, go on. You can continue. What's wrong? Oh, Akbar is already typing. Sure. No, I continue the sentence in Google Docs. Oh, I thought. I'm I'm going to close the whiteboard on Zoom. You only have two more minutes anyway for the Zoom. So you are going to continue on Google Docs. Rafi, are you going to do it online or offline? I hope it's online. Yes, yes. What? Where do you do your writing? Uh -huh. Still Google Docs. Uh, I don't know. My Google Docs is failed to load. Failed to load. Mm. I run it on sticky note. It's okay. Okay, sure. So this the, the, the sentence is um is, is for 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 my paragraph mm -hmm. I explain again in the after 2010 mm -hmm. and then the last is the conclu conclusion conclusion uh -uh. but don't make this space this is two paragraphs already oh you haven't finished okay so sorry <laughs> I haven't finished <laughs> okay You're jumping too far. I mean, from 17th century and then 1950, 2010. Perhaps there are more years in the middle. Yeah, I think in 18, mm. the American imported from Britain. Got it there. Marcia, are you typing on your Google Docs? Or Zoom screen? I'm typing on the Google Docs, but uh, I'm still searching some things. Oh, I see. Okay. So I was like, <laughs> why is Marcia typing, but it's not appearing on Google Doc? Oh, yeah, I got the Hamilton Charhart is making wait you are using topical or time 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 then you start with the time okay by mid 1950s something something okay just remember when you use time order it needs to be from uh one end to another in order. So if it's from 1910 until 2000, 2010, make sure that you don't jump from 1910 mm -hmm. to 1970, back to 1950, back to 2000, and then it goes back and forth. It doesn't work like that, okay? It works as a straight line. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing the zoom screen everybody has got their sentences right i'm going to let you continue on your own do you have any questions before we set, uh, we end our zoom session when is the due date 
tomorrow before midnight as always. Okay, Rafi, the due date is tomorrow before midnight. You still have, mm -mm, you still have 27 hours to go. Imagine that. To write that paragraph. Yes, exactly. Any other questions? No. No? Okay, then I'm going to let you work on your paragraph. If you do have questions, please ask in the group. Okay, don't chat me personally. So everybody can learn. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Uh, learners, not guys. Marche is not a guy. Learners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be waiting for your paragraph. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.